Hey, so welcome to today's video. We'll be talking about subject pronouns and the verb ser. So what are pronouns? So pronouns take the place of nouns. Subject pronouns describe who does the action in a sentence. So if we have a sentence in English, for example, we are friends, in Spanish that would be nosotros somos amigos. We and nosotros are both subject pronouns. So the verb ser in English means to be. You use ser in order to identify a person and you also use it to say where he or she is from. In a sentence, you would combine the subject pronoun and the verb ser. The subject pronouns include yo, tu, usted, el, ella, nosotros, ustedes, ellos, and ellas. On the left, we have the singular, and on the right, we have plural. So the conjugation to yo is soy, tu eres, usted, or el, or ella es, nosotros somos, ustedes son, ellos son, or ellas son. So yo soy means I am, tu eres means you are. Usted es also means you are, and we'll talk about the differences later. El or ella es means he or she is. Nosotros somos means we are. And ustedes son means you all are. And ellos or ellas son means they are. So, for example, we have the sentence ellas son de Venezuela. And in English, that translates into they are from Venezuela. So, ellas is the subject pronoun and so is they. Son is the the ser the ser verb and so that's R and from Venezuela is the rest of the sentence. So you use to when you want to describe a friend, a family member, or someone you younger. You use usted when you want to describe a person you don't know, or someone older, or someone who you want to show respect to. You use no so thras and ellas when talking about females. So for example, if we have nosotros with an OS ending and nosotras with an AS ending, you can say um, nosotros if it's two boys and one girl. So even if there's one girl and there's boys, it's nosotros. Nosotras is just for girls. Thank you and please subscribe to this channel.